Hello, DC Eric here, and today I am giving you a Buster Shot Games exclusive. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Homebrew Channel on the Nintendo Wii. Of course, you've probably seen a lot of tutorials on the internet uh, to install the Homebrew Channel, and most of them are probably really difficult and hard to understand. This one right here, what you're watching, will be the easiest method to having the Homebrew Channel on your Nintendo Wii. Um, there is a few issues with having the homebrew channel or trying to install it and that is of course if you have the red mini Wii. It will not work at all for that system. There is supposedly some issues for the black Wii. I'm not really too sure what they are but it has been tested on a black Wii and uh, it has been approved that it does work. Um, of course this does 100% work with the white Nintendo Wii. Of course, if you don't know what the Homebrew Channel is for, it will be for Homebrew Gaming, Homebrew Applications, and Emulation. So why don't we start this tutorial? Alright, so for the first step, you're going to have to turn on your Wii, because there's a few things you're going to need in order to download the software to install the Homebrew Channel. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Wii button down here, and then go to Wii Settings alright the next thing you're going to need to know is the version you have you because this will only work with a version 4.3 now uh, you may be from a different country so uh, if you're from Europe it will probably have 4.3 E if you're from Japan it might have 4.3 J but remember that you must have a 4.3 version of Wii in order for this to work. So the next thing we're going to do is click this arrow down here and go to Internet. And then we got to go to Console Information and get the MAC address. Now, your MAC address, of course, will be displayed on the screen. I have it blocked it because um, I'm not going to give you mine because the software is specific to your Wii. If uh, you use my MAC address it may not work and it may bugger up your system so you have to follow these steps um, right. So yes what you got here is what you'll need to download the software. And we're off to the next step. Alright so we're on to the next step. Of course, remember how I told you you have to have a 4.3 version Wii? Well, the site requires you to uh, select which version Wii you have. Now again, you, you must have a 4.3, but if you're from a different country like Europe, Japan, or Korean, you'll have to select which one you have. Now Europe, you'll have to select a 4.3 E, Japan, you'll have to select a 4.3 J, or Korea, the 4.3 K. Now of course, Canadians, we get the American stuff, so we have to select 4.3U. And uh, here, the MAC address, remember what I uh, shown you on the screen there? The MAC address on your Wii? Well, you have to type in your MAC address here, and you'll be able to download the file. So just type in your MAC address, and then type in the CAPTCHA here, which I can hardly see. 5, 7, 10 I believe it is, okay and press cut the red wire or cut the blue wire now of course it's just a joke you can select any one uh, button you want and you'll still be able to download the file so we're just gonna press cut the blue wire and the download has begun it is only 2.2 megabytes and that's it and of course you'll need to have your SD card ready to install the homebrew channel and of course we're on to the next step alright so for this next step you're gonna have to have a free handy SD card now um, I think the requirements of course are um, in order for this to work you have to have under um, two gigabytes in order to, uh, to install the homebrew channel um, I, I like to use just a small card I'm not using my actual Wii SD card um, so yeah, just just use any card you like. I don't think the Wii card will work, but 
you can do that if you'd like. Um, so the the next step here is we want to format this card, and that's quick. Just right click on the the SD card and and do a quick format. Press that. Okay. And okay, the format is completed. Now we just click on it and um, have your letter bomb dot zip um, opened. This is of course the download from that uh, hack me website and you're gonna want to select all sorry select all and drag onto the SD card and wait patiently for all this stuff to be put on your card now I'm Joyce uh, sorry alright so now it's all on your card and we are gonna be on to the next step all right, for this next step, remember to have your Nintendo Wii on and the SD card with the letter bomb files installed on it. Okay, so this next step here, we're going to have to check our Nintendo messages. And it might be a few days ahead or um, might be a few days back, but this is where you get the download. And there it is. Okay, so you want to select the letter bomb on your SD card and we are going to start installing the homebrew channel All right. so this part right here might take a little while so I'm going to um, just cut this short and cut how long this is going to take out of your viewing experience. Alright, so you're going to want to press the 1 button once it's uh, popped up on the screen here. Okay, so as you can see on the screen here, it'll show you that the Homebrew channel can be installed and BootMe can be installed as well. Now again, if you have the red Wii, it probably will tell you you can't install it. The black uh, we uh, it probably will tell you you can install it, but um, I don't know what um, the problems are with the black Wii, but you can use it. Uh, there might be a few bugs here and there. Anyways, we're going to press the continue button by pressing the A button on the Wii mode. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is install the homebrew channel and it's going to ask me if I want to continue and I'm just going to press A. Alright, it looks like I've installed the homebrew channel. Just going to press A to continue and the next step is going to power off the Wii and see if we have installed the homebrew channel. So just hold the power button on the Wii and press the power button again All right, press the A button here and look the homebrew channel is now there now you can enjoy homebrew gaming emulation and homebrew applications we're just gonna press A on the homebrew channel to show you exactly what it's like. Alright, so as you can see there is absolutely nothing here, but once you have your homebrew games and emulators and homebrew applications, you will be able to see them all in here. Alright, so you have the homebrew channel now installed on your Nintendo Wii. You'll be able to use that for homebrew gaming, homebrew applications, and emulation. You can find emulators and homebrew applications and homebrew gaming all across the net. Just do your search over Google and you'll be, you'll be sure to find whatever you need for your Nintendo Wii. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and come back to see another video with your pal, DC Air. Ciao for now, my friends.